Hi, my name's Jay, and welcome to Slam Academy. This is Slam Academy. We're a diverse family of working musicians with one important common bond, a deep love for the creative process of making music. I hate every preset I've ever listened to. I just want to like make all my own sounds. You have to have your own sound, otherwise you're not going to stick out. United by our passion for creating, the Slam family exists to educate and support musicians of any age, any level, and in any genre. I had been more to creating electronic music. Once I stepped into sound design, I was like, this is electronic music. This is like what I envisioned it being like. Our community lives on and offline with live stream group classes, as well as in-person programs in Minneapolis. Our instructors meet you where you are and work to accelerate your musical journey to where you want to be. It was like frustrating in college being with all the music majors, you know, you had all these classical musicians and I'm like over here making beats and I come here and I feel like these last nine months I've learned more, way more for what I need to be doing. With detailed courses in DJing, music production, recording, sound design and more, Slam Academy is ready to show you what it takes to be an industry professional. I was pleasantly surprised with how much I really could take away after only 12 sessions. I finished up and I am walking out with exactly the tools that I need to finish projects. We want you to become a part of the Slam Academy family. Hey everyone and welcome to Drum Programming Masterclass. I'm really excited to make this class. This has been one that a lot of students have asked me to make for a long time after seeing my Ableton classes, my sound design classes, my all of my production classes, and even my music theory classes. So in this class, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by breaking down the beat and talking about how we put together rhythms on a grid. And then we're gonna move into some of the sound palette things that we need to know how to do, like uh, good kicks, cymbals, snares, all that good stuff. Uh, and then we're gonna start looking at different genres. So we're gonna look at house music, we're gonna look at some tracks by Daft Punk, we'll look at a few tracks of mine as well in the course, and uh, I'll just show you how they work and we'll really reconstruct these uh, tracks so that you can learn how to reconstruct them on your own as well. And remember, of course, that this is only the first part of a multi-part class, so we're gonna be diving in deep in this course, but there will be a lot more to come. So I hope you decide to join us, Please stick around for the class. It's a lot of fun. Four of these are gonna happen in between each clap, right? So I'm gonna clap our pulse, and when we get to here, you're gonna hear four of these pass in between two claps. The one that's happening more common, so we're gonna hear that as an accent, because low, low, high, low, low, high, low, low, high, low, low, high. So we're gonna hear that uh, as accented. That one is coming every three sixteenth notes. Right? It's one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. So that's awkward, right? And that's what syncopation is all about. Zoom in farther and the numbers get weirder, right? There's not, see here, I see three, one, one, 229. Okay? We're gonna talk about those numbers in a minute. And Ableton does the same thing. If I scroll in even farther. Okay, so we talked about swing being, you know, moving stuff a little bit off the 16th notes, sometimes the eighth notes, just moving the pattern around just a little bit, nudging some things here and there to give us that feeling of uh, swing, right? So uh, I want to add it to my percussion here, but to nothing else, okay? So here's how I'm going to do it. Uh, and this is going to be different depending on what at all. There's a little bit more high stuff happening later on in the song like that, but the main groove is rock solid and did not change. So this 